G'day guys, I uh, put a video out the other day saying that I received a box from the US for people to uh, have a little bit of a guess on what I got. Um, one of the things I got is this here. It's a pocket sluice. This one's a little bit different from the ones you get in Australia as actually made of the same stuff as the rubber. Something I got um, a few weeks ago was the new pan, nice new red pan. Something that I thought I'd give it a go just to see what the colour was with the gravels. But um, I'll take this over and just have a look at uh, what all the excitement's about. Alright, you're probably looking going, what's this bloke so excited about? Just looks like a uh, standard 8 inch high banker with a spray bar. Well, here's the first little bit of excitement. See this screen? Gonna throw that fucker away. Don't need a screen. Next, I'm going to say this bloke's going to run his dream map with no screen. What's so exciting about that? What do we have here? Looks like a dream map. And that's because it is a dream map. But, this is what they call the dredge map. Haven't seen any videos on this thing in Australia. Haven't seen anyone with an 8 inch dredge mat in Australia. Can't get them here. Bit of a shame I reckon, but, you know. That's just me. I um, like to do things a little bit differently. Why well, go for the dredge mat? It's very, very hard to capture just how deep and just how high those cells are. So I am going to play around with this little tray at the bottom at a later stage just to get that right um, but what I am going to be doing is I'm not going to use a screen anymore good idea bad idea All right. so what I'm going to have to do is uh, increase my water this is a 3700 GPH pump and then probably need a little bit more water than that. And the whole idea behind this for me, now I'm not going to be using a dredge, but if I don't have to have a screen here, because we all know there's the potential to lose some gold off that screen. Get a, you know, not, not that it happens all the time or, you know, or I've ever found anything over a gram in the creek, but a gram nugget may not get through there, especially in a creek where it's flat and fairly large. Could drop off the back. I don't bring a metal detector and go through my tailings. I'm buggered by the end of the day of digging. So I want to try and get everything that I'm going to shovel in to go through that mat. Means no tailings pile at the back here. But what it does mean is I'll probably have to clear this section um, more often. 
I haven't even fired this thing up as you can see it's all dry I'll chuck the uh, battery on and hopefully uh, no water goes everywhere we'll see uh, how she fires up Um, look, initially, looking at it, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it seems to be uh, maybe I don't know. No, look, it doesn't look too bad, but I reckon I could do with a little bit more water. I might have to try uh, a 4700 GPH pump on this and see uh, what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit of um, pay dirt cons um, that I had that I made a few videos just recently about. And I might just run that through there, just so we can see what's going on with the mat and see how well those cells will be dancing and that. I will, um... There's no point in... having this here. This is just more for when I'm running in the creek. But... I'll just uh, set the camera up and I'll um, feed the material just on this plate here and uh, we'll see what happens alright so what I've actually got is um, just concentrates mm -hmm. from trips that I've done plus some of the uh, pay dirt cons that I had fire this thing up And uh, hopefully, we uh, can get a bit of a look at this thing running.
Alright, that's um, uh, about a third of a bucket. going to be uh, a little bit difficult to see uh, what's going on with the mat while it's running like this. As you can see, it looks like a whole lot of red mess. A lot of well do is turn the water off. And just have a little bit of a look. Look at these cells. Got a little bit of um, clean water. So what I will do, just feed a little bit of water here. Just so I got fresh clean water. I wouldn't believe I've probably knocked too much out. Now you got to remember these were just cons, no um, no real lights. Now, quite happy with, I set this thing at 9 degrees, I didn't really know um, what angles they're running this mat at. But, looking at that, cells are clear and nice. We're starting to back up a little bit down a bit further. As we go down the mat, and there's probably a little bit more right here at the base, but that's not bad. That's not too bad, nine degrees with this uh, amount of water. But I'd honestly like to throw maybe, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more water, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the 47 might be the go. But what I will probably end up doing is I'll put an 1100 bilge on here as well and just see how it goes and if it's actually too much. I can always back it down a little bit and restrict it, but um, that's not too bad. What I will do. I'm going to put this stuff into the red pan and just have a look and just see how much um, this mat is actually holding, if it's any more than my uh, standard or the original dream mat. But I'm loving this thing. You know, like, look at those cells. Just the design... This has just been refined, I believe. You know, it's just taken the dream map to the next level. Um, hopefully, these do become available in Australia. I, I know you can get the 12, but I'm talking about the 8. For all us old blokes that don't want to carry a big 12 inch around and don't want to shovel like madmen feeding it, this just gives you the opportunity to increase a little bit removes your screen and gives you just some more options out there I'll have to give this thing a run in the river as well hopefully uh, we'll get out at some stage who knows there'll probably be no creeks flowing on none of the ones that I tend to go to um, there'll be very to little flow and with this, um, I'd like to probably have a lot of flow. All right, I'll uh, chuck this in the pan. We'll see if uh, there was any gold in these in these cons. All right, um, that's uh, what the map captured. Probably along the same lines as what a eight-inch dream map would hold as well. So no real increase in cons. I won't bore you watching me pan. Um, I'll pan this stuff down and we'll see if uh, there's any gold there. Alright, um, haven't quite got there. 
But I've got down to the bottom end and I'm just going to be piss farting around now for ages. I want to get this stuff packed up and um, the video done. Um, should be able to see a little bit of colour there. A little bits in there. I don't know if you can really see the tiny little tiny bits there. Now they're bit little bits of lead. So quite happy with that. And a little bits of lead and um, stuff that I've got out of the creek. Little BB, I think that is. Just there. Here, where my hands gone. So the mat held that, which is a good sign. There's another one, a few more up here. Another one there. Yeah, and a little bit of gold. Nothing, you know, exciting. But this is stuff that I've previously panned, and I just keep the cons. Um, for things like this, when you're in lockdown, you get locked away and you can't keep out. Or you can't get out, I should say. Um, I'll have a final look over here. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, obviously the green mat is um, the original dream mat. Dredge mat's on the left. I think uh, I'm going to call this the beast mat. Like you can just, it it's frustrating because you can't actually capture just the um, the difference and just how high this mat is compared to the other one. So if I can zoom in, and you can see just how high compared. Where are we? See if we can be hand in the right spot. So you got your dream mat down here. Well you've got your two dream mats, but you got your dredge mat is probably twice as high. What does that mean? Those cells just get protected so much better. Um, I did stand up a um, five cent piece in these cells. And they're just deep, like look how deep that is. We'll compare it there. See how deep the cell is? Look how deep the cell is there. And that height just protects those cells when gold drops in. Which which means, you know, you can run a ton of water. Don't have to classify. Don't even need that screen. And um, I think this is the way of the future. I just hope... We get this in Australia in in this size. Look, you can go if you've got a 12 inch. Lucky you, you can go out and buy a 12 inch dream at, um, dredge mat now. Um, you might have to wait a little bit longer, but hopefully, um, you know, it, it, it's all a numbers game, I suppose. It's about how much it costs to make the mold, to how many mats you're going to sell. But I think once there's a few more videos, people using this thing in the creek, I think there'll be, the demand will pick up. People will go, oh, this looks interesting. Might give that a go. Look, I hope to be out in the creek. Who knows? Might end up being November here. Who knows when they're going to let us out anywhere. If we get to um, the next level, I can go to a few local creeks and um, just do a bit of testing more than um, more than anything else, and that'll probably be out at Pan and Hill or down at Warrandyte, just to give this thing a run in the creek, just to work out a few things. Um, that's if we're allowed to go out 25k's. Well, I hope fingers crossed we're out soon. Hopefully, I can show you some more videos of this thing actually running in the field. Um, but I'm actually 
very surprised and really impressed with this mat. Um, it's just taken it to that next level. The guys with the six little six inch um, mats will know about this little dip in here. Um, the dip that goes there. Um, look, it's not the six inch beasted up. This is this is just a monster. This thing. I just there's just the way these cells. Just this this this. I don't know. I'm just over the moon with this mat. I, it's um, met my ex expectations and um, actually exceeded them. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say to you guys, but hopefully soon we'll be out there on those creeks and um, especially after the earthquake yesterday, hopefully some uh, new gold's been deposited in a few areas. All right, until the next time, I'll uh, see you all later.